Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be flipping through one of my first sketchbooks from when I was just starting to get serious about art. This was from April of this year to early August. So let's just get into it. Alright, so the first page, early on I really was trying to fill up my pages, but I also did not have finished pieces, so it's just a lot of random things. Um, I like some of this eye practice that I have. Not really that much special stuff. Now this one, here, there's something on the back. I didn't like to draw on the back because it got pencil rubbings all over and ruined both drawings. Um, so I drew some fan art for the Silmarillion. Here's some more. This was really pretty before it got ruined, so I'm kind of sad about that. And looks like I was better at noses then than I am now, which is disappointing. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> that's really bad. Uh, yeah, let's just leave that page behind. Uh, I did some cool watercolors over here. I really liked drawing super flowy hair then. And so, yeah, I had some fun stuff. Um, more Silmarillion fan art. So much of this is such... <sighs> Moving on. I... Oh, yeah, I drew a meme for science class. Uh, nematodes are s sketchy. So, he's like, psst, kid, you know, like the drug dealers. Uh... I was thumbnailing for a comic that I never ended up making. Um, I like this thread. And I drew a lot of practice eyes because I had an art block a lot when I did this sketchbook. And I have a lot of unfinished stuff. More eye practice. You can tell which pages I had art block on. I like that outfit. Ooh, I love this page. I have some, I think I drew some really nice hands. I really like this one. This one's good. I like that one. This one's nice too. So yeah, I have some hands that I'm really proud of. Um, this was in June. So all of this is like two months. I was not drawing very much. Um, yeah, that was more fan art. Not very good. Um, ooh, figure drawing. So I was working on figure drawing some. And I really like this. Uh, I used a reference for that, but it's good. And then these are some of my favorite pages because I just drew faces. Like, I just filled my pages with little faces. So I have some really pretty ones. I like this one a lot. I really like this one. So, like, I used color pencils and... I think that made some really pretty drawings. Um, oh, that one's really bad. But I like a lot of these. This one's one of my favorites. I just love the hair on that and the face. Um, let's see. So this was some other fan art for the books of beginning. Some other colored pencil drawings. And then, so this was with acrylic paints. I was just trying to use red, yellow, and blue, and I was trying to figure out how to make OCs that I could draw more than once, so I was thinking about they need to have distinguished features, so I tried to give her a really flowy dress and her hair, try to make it recognizable. Um, this is a watercolor of a mermaid I did. And this paper is not very good for watercolors. It buckled a lot. But I like this picture. I think it's good. Um, I was trying to make things stand out in my sketchbook. So I did some acrylic over this. I always watered down my acrylic so much that they were like watercolors though. So it was a little pointless. Here is a redraw of a self-portrait I made when I was 11. And I am so proud of the improvement that I've made since I was 11. And then here I was starting to sketch in ballpoint pen. These were, I think, I got a how to draw a manga book. So I drew a lot of those. I was drawing some references from these, so I think they turned out really pretty. 
still drawing from references here. Um, and this was more from that How to Draw Manga book. And then I drew from Wicked. This is a line from Defying Gravity. And yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. I'd just recently gotten Pigma Microns, I think. Or this, maybe not yet. But, ooh, I finally discovered Bodies in Motion. And so I drew a lot of, I tried to do really quick sketches from that just to capture the movement. So I'm really happy with a lot of these. So, yeah. Then I was trying to draw the same girl. There was a running joke in it, but it's really stupid. You can pause it and read it if you want. Please don't. Uh, I did a two marker challenge here, and I was thumbnailing over here for a three marker challenge that I did. And then, oh, this is really funny. I did, a lot of the time I'd draw, like, my current mood when I had art block, so some of those are really funny. I really like this drawing with the blue tones. I think it sets the mood nicely. Um, another one of those, I was really into challenges where you just picked like one or two colors. This was a watercolor thing that I did. And here is that marker challenge that I was thumbnailing for. So I think she's a little too short, but otherwise I mean, it's okay. <laughs> And then, oh, I used such a light pencil, and I was really having a lot of art block, so you can tell. This probably took me two days to put everything that's on this page on this page, and I left so much empty space. More art block. See, I, I drew it right here because I was just really struggling. Whenever I draw a lot of eyes, I'm having art block because I can't focus enough to make a bigger thing. I was super excited to make this drawing and then it turned out so bad. I'm really disappointed because like the drawing and sketch and everything was really pretty and the hair was cool and then just the line art and everything totally failed and yeah. Uh, art block again. A bunch of dresses. I was watching Pride and Prejudice on the plane, so I think I might have paused it and drawn Kira Knightley a couple times. Um, yeah. I was trying to draw an eye with a galaxy in it, and I think it's pretty, but it didn't quite turn out how I wanted it to, which is sad. Um, I like this drawing. I think she has very defined features. I was doing something where I was doing cyan, yellow, and magenta, and I guess I drew a girl in a swimsuit because it was summer. It was July. Oh, I tried to follow a Bob Ross tutorial, but I didn't have paint, so I used my, I used my colored pencils. I think it's a really pretty landscape. Uh, trying to draw action poses. I'm really bad at action poses. Uh, more ballpoint pen drawings. I like this, but I also hate this, so, bye. Um, ooh, I like this one. I drew, I was doing Anne Hathaway, I think. There was a picture of her, so I was trying to draw that. And then there was a couple others, and I glued in some hydrangeas, because we have really pretty hydrangeas at my house. My brother and I were doing this thing where we, uh, I drew one thing and he'd copy it. <laughs> So this is ballpoint pen, and I'm really proud of that, as far as ballpoint pen goes. Here I was practicing feet. Um, I, I really like this mermaid drawing, actually. Um, yeah, I love the way the hair flows. This entire page, no, no, actually, never mind. A lot of this page I was super happy with. Ah, uh, there was a face on your face that I really hated. Yep, yep, uh, there was a good reason that I hated that. Leave the cuter one on. And a singing mermaid that just looked so happy that it made me happy. I colored it in on digital. Oh, I might put in the uh, final result. Then another page of ballpoint pen drawings. I was trying to draw like a goth girl here. And I, yeah, I'm not very happy with it. 
I like this one. She just looks so happy. Um, people dancing. I really wanted to do a lot of action poses with this stuff. So some of it was pretty. Others of it was less pretty. Uh, more action poses and this one just did not work because I was trying to do some kind of foreshortening and it... Nope, nope, nope. Uh, more from the Bodies in Motion website. Some of these. I think all my stuff from Bodies in Motion is good, but it's most of it's not quite finished. As I'd like it to be. Alright. Let's see. Uh, not really much to say here. I used way too light of a pencil. Didn't fill in enough page. Okay, this is when I first got Prismacolors and I was super excited. So I went and tried to draw like this splashing water and some gems and stuff. And some of it's good. I mean, I like that. Uh, more just messing around with Prismacolors and wasting space. I wanted to do a more finished drawing, so here I did shading on this lady, and yeah, she's got a pretty dress and a very Roman nose. Um, yeah, mermaids. I drew mermaids sometimes when I had art block, because those were always fun to draw. Ooh, I started doing this thing where I would draw a bunch of characters reacting to wearing a certain dress. So, that was fun. Uh, more sketching in pencil. Uh, this is Angelica from Hamilton. I don't know if you can see it, because I used really light pencil. Um, somebody jamming out to some music. Me trying to do foreshortening and failing again and again. And here is where I got my first Pigma Microns and I was having a lot of fun testing those out and here's I was trying to draw in negative with the negative camera it didn't work uh, playing with Pigma Microns and just pencils and having fun with that some Pigma practice and <laughs> this is another drawing where I did it with pigma microns and I like that she's got like a gradient eye effect here I did the one marker challenge and I only had sharpies I still only have sharpies so yeah that one was fun glued in a morning glory I drew like envy like 12 times because I was really enjoying full metal alchemist brotherhood right at that time and I had gotten some of the manga so I did copies mainly so I could figure out how she did it and some of these I really like that one some of them are cool um this is like 95% thumbnails because I was gonna make something for my mom and then um yeah a lot of it was kind of bad this was the finished product and then I didn't end up doing it and then here's the last page so, thanks for going through it with me. I was drawing myself with a lot of the things that I'd drawn in this sketchbook and enjoyed. And then, oh yeah, here's a page that fell out. So, I guess that's that.